Capture is a challenge response test to ensure that a human is interfacing with a website versus a bot and is helpful in preventing denial of service attacks. In this video, we will see how to implement Capture in a Spring Boot app. We will make use of the cn.apiclub.tool Maven dependency to help us implement the Capture functionality. We will create a Spring Boot project from scratch and add the Capture functionality to it. So let's get started. I have Spring Tool Suite running here. Let's click on New Spring Starter Project. Let's call it Capture. Keep the defaults of the type Maven Project and click Next. Let's include the web and time leaf dependencies. We will use time leaf to create the web pages. So here is our project. Let's open the pom.xml file. Here we see our time leaf and web dependencies. Let me add the dependency for cn.apiclub.tool which we will use to implement capture and the javax.xml.bind dependency. Here is our main class. Now right click on the package and choose new class and give it a name capture generator. Click finish. Let me copy and paste some code here and then we will go through it. Let me press Ctrl Shift O to import the packages. Choose Java Util Base64 and Java IO Byte Output Stream and click Finish. Let's right click, choose Source and Format. OK, so the first method is Generate Capture, which returns the capture and takes in the width and height of the capture image display. We return New Capture which is provided by cn.apiclub.tool dependency dot builder where we feed it the width and height. We add background as new gradient background producer, add text using the default text producer and default word renderer. We add some noise to the captcha using curved line noise producer and call build on it. The next method is again a static method which returns a string encode capture to binary which takes in capture we initialize a string variable image to null inside the try catch block we create a new byte output stream variable using image io.write we pass in capture.get image of type jpeg and pass the byte output stream then we have a byte array variable which uses base64 encoder to encode the byte array output stream then we assign to the string variable image a new string with the byte array. We return this image. This will be painted on the web page. Next, let's right click on the package and choose new class and call it capture settings. Inside, let's create three private string variables capture, hidden capture, and real capture. The capture variable will hold the capture string entered by the user. Hidden capture will be a hidden field on the form with the generated captcha text and real captcha will hold the captcha image. Right click, choose source, generate getters and setters, choose select all and generate. Next, let's right click on the package and choose new class and call it captcha controller. Click finish. Let us put the annotation for add controller and add request mapping, mapping it to slash app. Let's import these. Next, let's create a get mapping for slash verify and create a method public string register which takes in a model object model. Inside to the model, we add attribute capture and call a method get capture to get it. Let's implement the get capture method which returns capture settings. Inside, let's initialize new capture settings. Get the capture object using capture generator dot get capture method passing in the width and height. Now to the capture settings, let's set hidden capture as the answer using capture dot get answer. Set capture as null as this will be what the user will be entering, and real capture as the binary capture generator dot encode capture to binary, passing in the capture. Let's return the capture settings. Now from the register method, we will return a time leaf view verify capture. We will implement it soon. Now let's do a add post mapping with slash verify. 
write a method public string verify which takes in the model attribute capture settings and the model. Inside, we check if the capture settings dot get capture which the user generated is equal to the answer we stored as capture settings dot get hidden capture. Then to the model, we add the attribute message capture verified successfully and return a time leaf view success. Otherwise, to the model, we add a message invalid capture and add a new capture phrase using gen capture method and return verify capture for the user to try again. Now, let's generate the time leaf view. They are placed under the source slash main slash resources slash templates. So, right click and choose new file, call it verify capture.html to match the name we are returning from our method. I will create a bare bone view with just the capture fields so we can just focus on this. You can include this in a new or existing web page. Let's create the basic HTML structure of doc type HTML, include the time leaf namespace, inside the head have the meta car set and title. Inside the body have a title using h3 as capture verification, create a form with th action, th is the time leaf namespace as app slash verify in curly braces with the at sign, method is post and th object is dollar capture what we added to the model in the controller. We create a label for the image as capture. Then we create input type image with id image and the source as star curly braces data colon real capture slash jpeg colon base64 as the encoding and plus real capture which we pulled. Using input type hidden, we put th colon field hidden capture. Then we put the label for the text field capture text. Next, we have the input type text, id capture text and link it to the model attribute capture. Finally, we have the input type submit. Close the form tag. Use the div using th colon if. If the message is not null, inside the span tag with color red, we display the message as th colon text dollar message, again obtaining it from the model attribute. Let's copy this. Right click and choose new file and create our second time leaf view success.html. Paste what we had copied, remove the body and just put successfully verified. In the verify captcha, I forgot to add a slash to app verify. Alright, let's right click and run as spring boot app. It starts at port 8080. Go to the browser and type localhost colon 8080 slash app slash verify and we see our page with the capture image. Let's first add an invalid capture and we see the message invalid capture and a new capture is generated for us. Let's enter it correctly this time and we see the success page. In this video, we created a new Spring Boot app and using the cn.apiclub.tool Maven dependency, we implemented the capture functionality. Thanks for watching.